Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today we are going to make an easy, no need focaccia bread and this is so good, especially with pasta, you're going to love it. So it's a pretty simple recipe, simple ingredients. All you're gonna need is about two and a half teaspoons of yeast, six tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna use that a tablespoon at a time though because it is divided. Two teaspoons of salt, tea, two teaspoons of sugar, five cups of flour, and two and a half cups of warm water. So that is for your basic bread recipe. Now, optional ingredients to do on the top um, was about four tablespoons of butter with two tablespoons of garlic. We melt that down and we brush that on top to give it that nice buttery garlic taste. So you can do just that if you're just doing a quick, um, an easy, simple recipe. You don't have to do it at all, but it does add to that bread. And the other option is to use different um, ingredients, mostly vegetables, for a topping to look, make it look pretty. So if you do a Google search on Pinterest, whatever you do to do an image search, you can see that people dress these breads up so beautifully. Not only does it look great, um, and it's a definitely a conversation starter, but it also adds a little bit of extra depth and flavor to your bread. So when you're biting into that bread, you're getting those notes of pepper and onion and tomato. So there's many ways you can decorate with many different things. I would suggest searching that up. I am going to do it for video's sake just to kind of show you what, got, what that could look like. And then for tools, you're going to need a big bowl and a 9 by 13 pan usually works well, a whisk and a spatula or just a spatula if you don't have a whisk. So um, we're going to go ahead and get that started. I also want to note the two teaspoons of sugar can be substituted with honey if you prefer a little bit of a lighter sweetness to your bread. So the first thing that we are going to do is you are going to make sure that water is warm enough because we want to make sure that the yeast is going to activate inside of it. So make sure that you have that two and a half cups of warm water and we're gonna pour that into the bowl. Okay, we've got that warm water and now we are going to add our two teaspoons of honey or salt. And we're just gonna kind of whisk that in there. Sorry, honey or sugar, do not put the salt in yet because that's gonna kill your yeast. So your honey or your sugar. And then we are going to add that two and a quarter teaspoon of the yeast. We're also going to whisk that in. And now we're gonna leave this for about five minutes, just sitting on the counter and letting that yeast get activated. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this for about five minutes and we'll come back and continue on. Okay, so we've let it sit for five minutes. Now at this point, we are going to add our five cups of flour. So just adding that right into the mixture. And once that's in, now you can add your salt. So that two teaspoons of salt. Now we are going to use a spatula or whatever you use and we're going to mix this all together until a shaggy dough forms. So we're not looking for something like you would see with your bread dough where it's a nice stiff ball. We are looking for like a nice loose wet shaggy dough. I will show you what I mean as I get this mixed up. And as you can see what I mean, it's a shaggy dough. Now because this is no need, you don't really have to worry about it too far after this point. But we are now going to add on top our four um, tablespoons of olive oil. So go ahead and just add that right to the top. And now you can use your spatula or you can use your hands. And at this point, we are just going to coat the dough in that oil. So go ahead and do that. Okay, and at this point, we've got our dough coated in that oil. Now you have two options for letting it sit. If you have a longer time, like if you're making this and then going to work and then you're gonna make the bread when you can come home, you can put this in the fridge and let it chill for at least eight hours. Make sure to cover that up with some saran wrap or a um, dishcloth. So fridge for eight hours more, or if you're in a rush and you wanna just maybe do this in an afternoon, you can let it sit on the counter at room temperature for about four hours. So that's up to you. So again, four hours on the counter and at least eight hours in the fridge. So I am going to pop that in the fridge, go do my business, and then we will come back in about eight hours and see where we're at. Okay, so we have let our bread sit and we are now going to uncover it. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take a fork 
and we are going to deflate it off of the sides of the bowl. So you're just gonna to wanna to pull it off the side and deflate it as we go and just kind of getting that air out and making sure it's not stuck. It's a nice bread here that we've got here. Now we are going to take our pan and you can grease it. So whether that looks like um, a cooking spray or butter, that's completely up to you, but you're gonna to wanna to grease your pan. So I'm just using cooking spray because I'm gonna butter the top of my bread after. So it's nice and oiled. Now you're gonna take one more tablespoon of that olive oil and we're just gonna put that in the center of our pan, no big deal. And now we are going to take our dough that we have completely deflated with that fork and we are going to transfer it into our pan. So I just dumped it on top and that's just it for now. We are gonna let this sit again. We're gonna cover it up so we don't get any extra things in it. And we are gonna let this sit for about two to four more hours just on the counter. And we're just gonna let it spread out and kind of rise and do its own thing on its own. So in about two to four hours, we will come back and it's gonna be at that point that we decorate and throw it in the oven. Okay, so we've had our bread sitting out for the last couple of hours, and as you can see, it has started to spread in this pan, and it's gotten bigger. So at this point, we are going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees, and while it's doing that, we are going to prepare our dough. So it's going to be at this point that we are going to use that last tablespoon of oil. We are going to dump it just across the top. Now you can measure out exactly if you want to, but that's gonna be about your tablespoon on here. And we are gonna use our fingers and we are going to dot them and press them in. Now it does make sense for you to have some oil on your hands. And we are going to just put our fingers into the dough to make indents like this and spread it into the corners of that pan. And it's kind of deflating it, taking out some of that extra air. And it's also getting that oil incorporated. Now, at this point, once we are done this, and you are done indenting your bread, now you can choose whether or not you want to decorate it or not. Like I said to you before, I highly encourage you to go on to Pinterest or to Google, do a search of the bread and really kind of get an idea of how you might want to decorate this. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just look for inspiration. You can honestly just put pieces of like tomato across the top of it. It doesn't have to be special, but if you are, like I said, looking for that wow factor or just having some fun maybe with your kids or whoever you're cooking with, I would highly suggest doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I've got a few different ingredients and uh, again, use ingredients you like because you're going to essentially be biting into this. So you're going to want to like the taste of roasted pepper or roasted onion or roasted tomato on the top of that. You don't want to put something that you're not going to like. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to turn mine this way. Maybe I'll just kind of give you an idea. I'm going to do it off camera, but maybe we'll just like set the scene here of a little like sun up here and then maybe I'll do some flowers. Let me get creative off camera and I will show you what I look like before I pop it in the oven. Okay, so as you can see before I throw it in, I just made like a little like sun and a couple of different types of flowers. I don't really know. <laughs> just played around with it a little bit. Put some flavor in there and just kind of make it decorative. So we are going to pop this in the oven once it is heated at 450 and we're going to do that for about 20 to 30 minutes or until we are looking nice and fluffy and golden brown. So if you are choosing to add any herbs or anything, go ahead now. I sprinkled a little bit of Italian seasoning on top, but if you're looking for that buttery garlic flavor in the bread, if even if you're not doing anything on here and you just wanted a, a butter garlic flavor, or even if you are looking for that flavor on top of whatever you've decorated with, we're gonna do that the last minute or two because we don't want the garlic on top to sit and burn for the whole time it's in the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in. Check on it at about your 20 minute mark because every oven is different. And then we are going to see where we're at and uh, brush on that mixture. I will show you that in a second. So let's go pop it in. 
Okay, so I've got about a minute left on my timer. So what I have done is I have taken the four tablespoons of butter and the two um, cloves of garlic and I have melted them in the microwave and I have put them together. And I'm gonna use a barbecue brush and I'm gonna spread this on top of my loaf and then throw it back in for the last minute or two of its cook time. So it's just about to come out of the oven here and I will show you the spread. So as you can see, it's got that nice golden brown color. So go ahead and spread that all across, whoops, all across your loaf there and spread it all. And this is much easier to do when it doesn't have this like um, stuff on top, obviously. Um, but yeah, go ahead and put that all on there and throw it back in the oven for the last minute or two. And there you have it folks, pulled out of the oven after another minute or two a buttery, garlicky, fresh, delicious loaf of bread to serve with pasta or whatever it is you're doing. So good. And as you can see, like, this would be just like perfect in the event that you didn't have any of these peppers or anything on top. It was just a nice loaf of focaccia. Can't wait to dig in. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.